bowel moans. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. I rise on behalf of the Greens to address the petition and start from the outset that we are strongly supportive of this petition. I thank the member for the Blue Mountains, a fine local member, for bringing this important matter to the attention of this House. I'm pleased to contribute to this debate on behalf of the Greens. I'd like to acknowledge the work of my colleague Jan Barham in the other place in the Legislative Council in her role as the Chair of the Legislative Council Committee inquiring into registered nurses in nursing homes. Whilst the committee is yet to report, there's been an overwhelming response, Mr Speaker, from the community with 165 <laughs> submissions received. I'm aware that almost 80 per cent of the submissions called for the New South Wales law requiring a registered nurse to be on duty at all times in a nursing home to be retained. Within my electorate, there's seven nursing homes and, and they accommodate over 600 older residents. Unsurprisingly, the population is ageing in line with the overall trend throughout New South Wales, and it's estimated the number of people aged over 65 will double to almost 14,000 in the next 20 years. That's up to just over 20 per cent of the population. And what's clear is that registered nurses, in the face of this demand, are the best place to provide the skilled, expert clinical care to the residents of New South Wales, with the key principle of high quality, timely and equitable services. I note and support the New South Wales Nurses and Midwives Association recommendation that legislation in this state should retain safeguards to protect older people in our community. I also note concerns from the Australian New Zealand Society for Direct Medicine New South Wales Division to the reduction or removal of registered nurses working at aged care facilities. And I also note the concern of palliative care New South Wales and quote, Mr Speaker, from their submission that, quote, quality and informed palliative care nursing can only be led by an RN. Mr Speaker, that marks a clear point which this House should listen to and should understand. I note that uh, the leader of the Australian Greens, a former doctor, uh, was in my electorate in March and we signed together with a member for Newtown and also supported by my other Greens colleague, member for Ballina, this supporting this petition so we are backing this both in federal and state parliaments. But, Mr Speaker, what is important is that we note the work of all of those people who have helped bring this petition to the parliament. And congratulations to each one of you who have put this debate to the parliament today. And I will conclude just by reading from the petition that registered nurses provide the skilled clinical care to the residents of New South Wales. And when you look, it makes clear that the Legislative Assembly should ensure a permanent legislation is in place requiring a registered nurse on duty at all times and the appointment of a Director of Nursing in all New South Wales nursing homes. Let's respect the dignity and quality care which people deserve and the Government must ensure that services of registered, nurse, registered nurses remain 24-7 in nursing homes.